Welcome to Ready, Set, RC. And during the holidays of 2023, I came across this. The Hot Wheels RC Tesla Roadster, guys. I picked this up from Costco, about 65 bucks uh, plus tax. It looks interesting, guys. And we're gonna check this thing out. This comes with proportional steering and throttle, has working headlights and taillights. The controller to me looks hobby grade because it's a pistol grip. Speeds may not be desirable for us people who are in the hobby. It's about 12 miles per hour. The frequency on the controller is 2.4 gigahertz. Looks like it has maybe friction shocks. We'll see when we take, the, take it out of the box. The range on this is about 100 feet and it has a lithium ion battery. Let's get this thing out of the box and see what it's all about. Ooh, guys, doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look really good? Doesn't feel bad. It's a hard body, plastic base. Wow, almost no shocks, but feels like friction definitely in the front. In the rear, I'm not feeling anything. So what comes with it? There's a manual that tells you how to dispose of the lithium ion batteries. Instructions, basic instructions, just goes over your operating the vehicle, the controller setup, charging your battery, steering, throttle, operations on it. It's a basic instructions, but it'll get you set up for your first run. And then we have the controller. This doesn't feel too bad. For a toy grade controller, the reverse, there's a lot of throw on that. Definitely could be driven with one hand. The steering wheel feels like a tire. Uh, definitely a lot of throw left and right. Feels good there. Your steering trims left and right. On off switch here in the rear. Your batteries are gonna go on down below. There's a screw to remove the lid, but feels pretty good. So the shocks feel, yeah, they definitely feel friction. There, there's, there's, it's not oil or anything like that. This is toy grade, so I wouldn't expect anything else. Ooh, batteries have a little bit of life in it. Oh, uh, this is slick, guys. So this is not the battery compartment. What you have, once you remove the lid, there is a USB cord that is connected directly to the RC, and you plug this in to actually charge the car. I'm gonna go ahead and do that before the first run so you guys can see this thing nicely juiced up. But that is slick, that the cord is just wrapped around in here and that's what, that's what we have. It is an all-in-one battery that is part of this car. As for the controller, it takes two double A's to get it going. I saw something interesting and I wanted to bring that out to you guys. For you guys, I know this, this video is gonna bring people who are not ho into hobby grade, and it's also gonna bring people who are in hobby grade. So this is for the hobby grade folks. Uh, this is the low C uh, mini drag car. And I thought I saw something funny when I'm looking at these two. This is definitely smaller. The Tesla is definitely smaller than one tenth scale. But this low C mini drag car is about the same wheelbase as the Tesla. So just a little bit, you need to stretch the wheelbase just a little bit on the low seat, and you probably could fit this body on this car. For width, it's not that far off, guys, and in most cases, for you guys that are in the hobby, you know you probably could do some extenders, if anything, if the width didn't quite work out, but you may be able to take this body and do some things with it. Definitely for cars that are going to be roughly about the same size wheelbase as the low C mini drag car, or just a little bit. I'm just saying, guys, it's just a little bit longer. Let me try to see if I can give you a different angle. That is really close. Hopefully you guys are able to see that on the camera, but the wheelbases are very close. So you may be able to take this body and do something special with it. Uh, we're gonna fire this thing up and we're gonna see 
how the Tesla Roadster performs. All right, I got the Hot Wheels Tesla Roadster out. I'm gonna see how this performs, and then we'll uh, we'll head back to the studio and uh, close this video out. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this close. It's got a little zip, little zip. For anybody that's you know looking for this for kids, I think it's perfect. It's not hobby grade, obviously, but a kid's gonna enjoy this. Proportional steering, proportional throttle. And I'm gonna keep this close, as I said, because it's not as zippy as some of my others. I'm like pegged right now. It's real smooth though. <laughs> I want throttle taking those turns. Let's take it smooth. Remember these shocks are friction. So you're not gonna get that uh, suspension like that in the turns. But a kid that gets this, they're gonna hammer on the throttle the entire time. They're not gonna drive it like you're a hobbyist. For a hobbyist, they're probably gonna wanna take the body and throw it on a different chassis. And I, as I mentioned before, you can do it. Hey, oh, let me show you guys something too. Cause I know some of you may wanna know this. So this is the car, just rear wheel drive. I'd say it's going about maybe 10 miles per hour. They say 12. I don't think so. I mean, that's close enough, 10, 12. But I would say it's probably about 10 miles per hour. A nice little drive. I admit I have not driven an RC, an on-road RC that goes this speed in quite some time. Oh, the brakes are sharp. Let's try that again. Wow, you get a spin out when you hit the brakes. Let's try reverse. Reverse isn't bad on speed. I would say it's probably about half throttle speed on you know half forward throttle speed on reverse now I see what it is so for brakes let's try it again it's really if I'm looking at this correctly it's really forward reverse it's not forward brake reverse so that's why you get spin outs it's a real good looker in the sun though nice hard body yeah that lithium ion is starting to lose its strength we're gonna bring it in
We're gonna go back to the studio, guys, but I like the run. This thing performed pretty well for a kid or someone that's just looking for it to put up on the shelf. It's not a bad car. Let's head it back to the studio. So back in the studio with the Hot Wheels Tesla Roadster. And I gotta say, guys, I'm impressed with it. It goes about maybe 10 miles per hour. I won't say that it goes about 12. 10 miles per hour seemed like it was performing well. The proportional steering and throttle, really good. I really do like how it's, it's set up. It doesn't take off with just a little bit of feeling to the throttle. You do have to give it a little bit and then it will pick up and go, but it's not one of those that it's either go or stop. It's not that. It, you definitely feel that there is proportional throttle in there. Steering, no question, is proportional. There's no brake. I will say that it's either forward or reverse, and that leaves it to when it's a little jerky when you hit the brake for it, thinking that it's going to brake, but it's really just forward and reverse. Reverse, as I mentioned on the running video, it's half throttle, so it's perfect for a younger person just driving the car or a more exper inexperienced driver when they're driving the car that it does not provide a 100% reverse, which is excellent because you're gonna smash the car if you do that. When you're driving this car in the turns, definitely take a little bit off the throttle. It will take the turns perfectly well. I just don't do it in full throttle. So if you have a younger or more inexperienced driver, just tell them to, ease off that throttle a little bit and it'll take the turns perfectly. As for the durability of it, you guys saw in the running video, I didn't hear any curbs, anything like that. So I can't really speak on how well it would have performed if I hit a curb with it. I, this body looks so amazing. I don't want to hit a curb with it. Chances are the more inexperienced drivers are going to do that. It's a hard body. So depending on how, how hard you hit that curb, you could crack it. You could damage it, you could scuff it. Yes, that's a possibility. That's gonna happen to any RC that you hit a curb with. As for the tires, I'll try to bring that up in close. And the wear was pretty good for the first run. Not that much wear lost there. And these are the rear tires. Not much wear lost on that either. No scrapes or scratches underneath. You guys saw where I drove, and that's probably best where to drive this, is on a smooth surface. For battery life, I think you're gonna get about maybe a good 15 minutes out of it on the lithium ion battery. Then you're gonna start seeing a little bit of a degradation in the power of it. Reminds me of when I first, you know, got my first RC uh, from Toys R Us back then or from Sears. That's how much I'm dating myself. So it was one of those RCs that I truly liked it, guys. This, you know, for the hobby grade people that are out there, what you're gonna more so want it, want it for is you're gonna want this body. You're gonna take the body and you're gonna to wanna to put this onto a different chassis and really have some fun with it. And I think it's a perfectly good platform for that. You're gonna to have to see what works best for you. I, I showed you guys an option that was out there, but for the hobby grade guys, you're gonna know what to put this on and you're gonna really do this thing up right. For you guys that are looking to buy this, Costco was where I purchased this. $65 before tax is what I purchased it for. Great find, great RC to go out and get for the holidays. But we're gonna leave it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok for the latest updates to the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.